Hi everyone. The SLS GT3 is a non-streetable racer built to comply with FIA, Federis Yun Internacional de Automobil, GT3 regulations, for customers who want to compete in long and short distance events. AMG Build 30 SLS GTEs a year starting in 2012. The body sits 0.7 inch lower, it's 2.0 inches wider than the stock version, and it has been de domesticated with all manner of race car mods. There are vents and slats and strakes and spoilers everywhere, all for function, not frivolity. Inside, the GT3 has racing style seat shells, six point harnesses, and a steel roll cage that imparts extra body stiffness. Other race car style alterations include a 31.7 gallon carbon fiber reinforced plastic gas tank and onboard air jacks to surprise and delight your pals at mock pit stops. The SLS GT3's lightweight, forged aluminum control arm suspension is fully adjustable for track, camber, and ride height, as well as for damper compression and rebound. The GT3 comes with forged aluminum, center lock 18 inch wheels wrapped in racing slicks. It also features motorsport spec steel brake discs with six piston front and four piston rear calipers. The SLS Road Car's optional carbon ceramic brakes are outlawed in GT3 class racing. In GT3 racing, the FIA tries to equalize performance throughout the field via the use of engineer restrictors and or ballast to keep power to weight ratios fairly close among the different manufacturers. According to AMG, however, the 6.2 liter V8 will likely make 600 horsepower up from a stock 563, and the car will weigh just less than 3,000 pounds, considerably lighter than the 3,748-pound street version. A six-speed automated manual replaces the road car's seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. Push the starter button, and the SLS GT3's V8 fires to a noisy idle, made all the more noticeable because the side pipes exit right behind the front wheels. Once on the track, mash the accelerator pedal, change up to second and third without lifting off the throttle, and thunder down into a corner as the sharp, direct, rack and pinion steering feeds information into your hands. The engine blares loudly, a barely muffled stock car bark that explodes as the revs rise. It's enough to send the average track day gazillionaire into rapture. As you'd expect, the brakes are powerful and responsive, and it's pure joy to bang the transaxle down a couple of gears before cornering. The GT3's rear end reacts a bit nervously if you brake and turn simultaneously but the combination of a multiplate limited slip differential and the race tune traction control keeps this wobble in check. You can jump on the throttle good and early, and the traction control manages corner exit for you. Obviously, owning this near race ready car requires commitment, because it's not street legal, you need to haul it to tracks before you can play. Thanks for watching.